Hey everyone, so in the last video we pulled data out of the Firestore. Um, we're not doing much useful with it though, we're just logging it. So now let's actually display it to the user. Now in the earlier labs and things we did this with a recycler view. Admittedly a recycler view is really challenging to use. Uh, the neat thing about it is that it can listen to the Firestore for changes uh, the downside is it's pretty complex, okay? It's also more efficient uh, under the hood. But let's say you don't need any of that. You want your data, your display of all the data in the Firestore to be event-driven, like when the user clicks on a button, or say you just want to show it to ev show everybody everything whenever they load the activity, right? That's fine, or start the activity, or uh, create the activity. We can do that too and we don't need a recycler view, we can use a list view. So let's do that. Let's have a list view. Um, let's go make one. So the first thing is I'm going to go into my Firestore, activity Firestore list layout and I'm going to add the list view to it. Okay, so I make this big again and don't need the log cat at the moment so I'll get rid of that. Alright, so here I am I'm in uh, our activity layout. Now let's go to the bottom here and we'll add a list view down here below the refresh button. Okay, So list view, if you remember it just as you said, as you may guess, it displays things in a list um, with a scroll bar on the right hand side so you can kind of go up and down a big pile of things. Okay, So let me give it an ID first of all and I'll call it patient list view. Okay, and I forgot to put the at plus uh, ID. Okay, so we'll call it the patient list view. Uh, the width, let's make it as wide as the th uh, screen. And the height, um, I'm going to tell it to fill the remaining space over here. Okay, so the way that you do that in a constraint layout is you set the height to zero. Okay. I'm going to set my height to zero, but then I'm going to set the vertical constraints in a way that makes sense, that'll make it stretch. So uh, let's attach the top of this thing, the top of this, to the bottom of the refresh button. Okay, I want it down here, down in this area. Okay. And then to get it to stretch, we constrain the bottom of the list view to the bottom of the parent. Okay, and that'll tell it to fill all the remaining space. Okay, um, I also have to give it, even though uh, we're like filling the space, we also have to give it a um, one horizontal constraint. So I'll just make the start uh, to the start of the parent. Okay, that'll, that'll make it happy. Um, there we go. Let's give it just a little margin on top, say 12. All right. Um, okay. I'll pause here for just a quick second. If you want to pause the video and catch up on this list view stuff, so I used a lot of autocomplete, went pretty fast. Okay. So I've got the view in place that I need. Let's go back to the activity and put the data in the view. Okay. All right. So I'm back to my on refresh click here, and what I need to do is tell it to put the data in the list view. Okay, So um, the way I'm going to handle this is, if you remember, list views take an adapter. And it's the adapter that tells them, I, list views are like, what, chapter 3 or 4? It was a long time ago. List views take an adapter that tells them both what the data is in that they should show in their scrollable list, but also how to render it, what the layout should be. Okay, so we're going to start working on that way back up here in on create. Okay, so first of all, let's get the list view, and I called it. Uh, Got to import that. Let's call it patient list view, and then how do we get the widget out of our layout file? We call find view by id r d dot uh, I think I called it patient list view. There it is. Okay, everything looks good there. 
Okay, so now I've got the object. What I need to do is I need to set the adapter for it. Okay, um, you may also remember that Android has a couple of built-in adapters. Uh, one of which is an array adapter, and you know we have an array list. We have a list of patients here. Um, an array list is a generic collection in Java that is backed by an array. You know one of one of these things, the square brackets. Um, so let's use that. Um, let's just get the data showing. So I need to make the adapter. Um, my adapter is going to be an array adapter. This is a class that's baked in to um, Android. But what it shows, you know, in the examples from like chapter four, it showed strings, right? A list of strings. Here we're going to show patients, right? We defined this patient class, and this is why we did it, to make this part here easier. Uh, we want to show an array of patients. All right, so I've got an array adapter. All right, now I need to initialize it. So I'm going to initialize it a new, by calling its constructor, a new array adapter. And the constructor takes three parameters. And the first parameter is going to be, oh, I got to tell it what type of array adapter. So it's an array adapter for patients. And now there's three parameters it takes. The first parameter is the context in which this thing is going to be shown. The context is almost always the activity. If you're dealing with fragments, it's a fragment, but we're dealing with the activity. The activity in this case is this. It's the Firestore list activity. You can also do Firestore list dot activity dot this if you want to be explicit. That's totally fine. Okay, I'm just going to use this. All right. The second thing is a resource ID that you want to use to show it. We don't. What we're going to use is one that's built into Android, and you did this very same thing back in uh, chapter four with the beer advisor app, right? There's a couple of baked in layouts and that's what we're giving it here. We're giving it a layout resource that will tell um, the list view how to display the items inside, what layout to use to display the item inside. Android provides a couple to you. Uh, go away, there we go. Android.r, we're gonna use a built-in one um, simple list item one. There we go. Okay. What does simple list item one do? It creates a text view and it takes the object that you're supposed to display and calls its two string method. That's it. It's a text view, patient dot two string. That's what it's going to do. Okay. All right. The final thing is the data, the list of patients. You can see here, it's, look, it's asking me either for a list of patients or an array of patients. Well, I'm in OnCreate. OnCreate is called when you first the activity first appears on the screen. I don't have any data yet. I have not clicked the refresh button, right? I haven't pulled that data down. You could, you could pull the data down right here and initialize it. That's fine. I'm not going to do that here. Okay, you could though. All right, I'm just going to initialize it with an empty list. Okay, and we are done. Okay, so that's my adapter. Um, I've created the adapter. Now, patient list. I to attach the adapter. Now I need to attach the adapter to the list, and I call it, well, is set adapter with the object you just made, okay? Now, if we you know, run this, we're actually probably not gonna see anything different because I haven't put any data into the adapter yet. Okay. Yeah, so there, there's nothing down here. Um, but let's, it's only when I call refresh that I actually get this data down. So how are we going to add the data in to the adapter? Well, the first thing we need to do is we need to make this adapter a class variable so that we can access it down here in this on refresh click method. So I'm going to make the adapter a class variable. So let me copy the, the variable declaration. I'm going to put it up here where the class fields go. 
and assign it in my onCreate. Okay. So again, what did I do here? Um, I declared my array adapter up in the, the class variable location and assigned it here. That's all. Um, now, down here in my on success listener, if you remember from the last video, we are getting the data out. Now what we need to do is put the data into the adapter and tell the adapter, hey, your data, I've got data for you now, update what's on the screen. Okay. Uh, the way we do that is pretty easy. Um, I get my adapter and there's a method baked onto it called add all. This add all can either take uh, an array of patient objects or it can take a collection. Array list patient is a collection. Okay. So we're going to call add all patients this thing and that'll do it. Okay, let's run it. See what happens. Okay. Go into our Firestore list view. All right, so again, nothing showing up here yet because we're not going to pull the data until we click the refresh button. So let's do it. Ha, huh. I've got information here. Um, kind of weird looking information edu.uncu uh, patient at blah 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 blah. All right, so part of the way. But what's happened? This is clearly not what I want. This is showing me, again, um, when I set up my adapter here in the onCreate, one of the parameters I gave it was the layout that says how to represent the content of the adapter. This simple list item one layout, it is a text view, you know, just like name and age, and it calls get string, or excuse me, to string on the object that it's rendering. Okay? Well, patient, if we go into our patient class, patient does not have a two string method defined on it anywhere. Um, and in Java, if two string is not defined, what it presents is the class name, the full name, at, and then this is the hexadecimal address where the object resides in memory. Not very user friendly. Let's define to string. And actually it's one of those things you can override. So I hit control O to bring up the override screen, command O, to string, right? And here, now I can return whatever I want. So let me return uh, this dot name plus this dot age. Okay. And let us run it now. Again, all I'm doing is I'm adding the two string method to the patient model object. Go back in my Firestore list view, click the refresh button, and there we go. Okay, so now I'm, I've got it in a list view. Let me add something now. Let's add some new data. Let's add uh, Peter, and he's 99 years old. Maybe I should type 99. Uh, and submit it. Okay. Now, you can see here the list view did not update. Let me add him again, change his name. The list view did not update. He was successfully added. That's because, unlike the recycler view, this list view is not listening to changes for the Firestore. But if I click refresh, there it is. And actually, now I have enough data that you can see the scroll bar here. There's also something else interesting that's happened. Do you see what it is? I've got duplicate data. All right. Uh, let me refresh again. See the bar jump? All the data is here again. Huh. What's going on? Well, I've got a little glitch in my logic here. Um, this call to adapter add all it takes the data that's in the adapter and literally appends everything onto the end of that list, right? So it didn't clear out the list. That's probably what we want to have happen, right? We want to clear out the list and replace it with the new data, not just keep adding on data. 
So I need one more call in here, which is adapter.clear. And that will, yes, clear out the data, then re-add. Um, so let's run this again. Okay, so here we are. If I click refresh, there's everybody who's in it. And if I click refresh again, yeah, um, I'm not getting extra. Let me add somebody. Let's add Jane. Submit. So she was added. Let me refresh. Here, she pops up down here. Um, and I can scroll, but you can see I'm not getting duplicates of what everything that was in there before. Okay? So, um, as far as the display, though, the display of this information, I'm limited. I can only show here, using this simple list item, the result of two string. So I can't format this very well. So in the next video, we'll talk about, again, uh, something that harkens way back to the first couple weeks of the semester, how to style these to make them look a little bit better.